Clash, where we take two characters and pit them against each other in many different categories to see which one comes out on top. Today we are taking two of the best sidekicks in the literary canon. Especially uh, the fantasy literary canon. Yeah, we are taking Mr. Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings, and he is going against versus Mr. Ronald Billius Weasley from Harry Potter. Ooh. Yeah, oh man. All right, what is our first category? All right, the very first category of the Character Clash games is who is the best cook? Hands down, Sam. Well... He doesn't know how to boil potatoes, mash them, and stick them in a stew. I was going to say one word. Potato. Yeah, I don't know if Ron could cook anything. No, Ron Ron is, would be useless in the kitchen. I think that part of that is because, you know, he doesn't want to go in the kitchen because Mrs. Weasley is going to make him do stuff he doesn't want to do. So now he's never going to get better in the kitchen. <laughs> he's got to stay out of the kitchen so he doesn't have to cut the potatoes. Yeah. All so. right. Sam wins best cook. Round one is a landslide win by Sam. All right, round two. Who is the best detective? That's interesting. I don't think either of these two are particularly smart. I mean, like, Ron's, like, pretty average. And I feel the same about Sam. They both are okay. Yeah, well, I was thinking about some of the things Sam does. And it may not be the best detective, but, I mean, at the very beginning, he does eavesdrop on Frodo and Gandalf. I think you mean on accident. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's a skill, right? And then, like, at the end, in Two Towers, when he thinks Frodo's dead, he takes the ring to continue on the journey. Like, he's a good backup man, but I don't know if he's a great detective. Yeah, I mean, both of these guys are just some of the best friends. They're just quality friends. They're with their friends to the end. But detectives? But we need a winner. <laughs> There's probably something that we could point to for either one of them as to how they would be a good or bad detective. I should have a good example for Ron. He and, he and Hermione in book seven go down to the I basilisk. I was just thinking that. To get the fangs. Yeah, that's true. He thought of that on his own. Yeah. Ron, job, Ron. Ron had an idea. The best quality that each of them have for detective is bravery. They're both brave. Very true. And they're both brave in different, very different circumstances. I'm tempted to give this one to Ron, for I don't know why. I feel like Sam would get in his own way. I feel like Ron would be a little better. Let's give it to Ron. All Ron right. wins Best Detective. Round three of the Character Clash games. Who would be the best survivalist? Who is going to stay alive in the wilderness. I'm gonna go with Sam. That's just not even close. Well, okay, so so Ron at least has his hat in the ring in book seven when they camp around, you know? Yeah, but he's the one that can't stand it and sucks at it. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be Sam. I mean, he brings his special salt with him all the way to Mordor. Yeah, see, Sam's just the best. And Ron is like a little city boy. It'd be like bringing me to try and survive in the wild. Just, he would, he would be so bad at it. He would complain all the time. Sam Sam is never going to complain, even if he's uncomfortable. Ron would complain the second that he, like, steps on a twig. Uh, yeah, Sam wins for best survivalist. It's just not even, it's poor Ron. Just, uh, <laughs> Sam keeps winning things in landslides, and Ron's like, I guess we'll give it to him. Well, let's see. Who's going to win this one? Our next category is... Best debater. I think that this one is actually a pretty easy give to Ron because Sam is pretty... Sam's a yes man. Sam's a yes man. He's a pushover. Like, he can stand up for himself, but he does not have the the fire in his belly that Ron does. Ron's got, like, a ton of siblings. He's got to hold his own, man. Exactly. He has that... And, like, he's the second youngest. He... He has to fight for what he wants, and he does. Having that many siblings, you just have to be a good debater. And I think Sam would be pretty bad. Yep. I think Ron wins best debater. Yes. Agree. Agree. I believe we are at a 50-50 split so far. What is our next category? All right. The next category is an interesting one. Who would be the best teacher? Mm, that's interesting. Best teacher, huh? I feel like it kind of depends on the subject. Both of them are good at some things. I don't know, I feel like Ron wouldn't be the best teacher because he's not the best student. 
That's fair. And I also feel like something you need to be a good teacher is patience. <laughs> Ron is not patient. Ron is not patient. And I feel like Sam is pretty patient. Because of his kind of yes man demeanor, he is gentle and he can talk you through it. And, you know, some people aren't going to be as helped by that. I feel like they'll be very different style teachers and it'll work better for some and better for others. But I feel like Ron might be a disaster as a teacher. Yeah, I think we'll give this one to Sam. Up for debate, but... I think Sam will take it. Okay, this one's going to be rough. All right, our next category is which one is the best friend? Oh, these are two of the best friends in all of fiction. These two, there's... I mean, Sam goes all the way to Mordor with Frodo, yet Ron goes all the way through... To the very end of the Dark Lord, he wears the Horcrux, like, he goes on the lamb. Does Sam ever have to carry the ring? Yes. Uh, after he thinks Frodo is dead from Shelob, oh, yeah. he takes the ring, and he's actually the only ring bearer to willingly give it up. Oh. Well, besides Bilbo, but Bilbo kind of, sort of doesn't count. Yeah. But he actually willingly gives it back to Frodo. Yeah, you know, Sam's pretty... Sam's pretty quality. I really would like... Because I, I do love Ron. And Ron's primary purpose is to be that best friend kind of guy. I think I think the thing with Ron is because Ron is a kid and he's growing up and he's learning, he has moments where he betrays his friends. That's true. Um, Like in... The Goblet of Fire. He's the worst in the Goblet of Fire. Um, he's he's jealous friend, and he's not a very good friend. Um, and also, in of course, Deathly Hollows, he does leave. So I think he is a really good friend, but I think he has some lapses due to immaturity that we just don't see Sam have. Yeah, because Sam is like three times his age. Yeah. It is a little, like, we are comparing like a 50-year-old to a 17-year-old, but... I do think that Ron is a great friend, and he uh, he has a couple uh, unflattering moments, which I think is is nice. I, I think that... Uh, it's good for character development. It's definitely good for character development. I think that over the course of their series, Ron changes more than Sam does, mm-hmm. but <laughs> Sam is... I think we're just going to have to go with Sam I, I think round. I think Sam is... Ron is a great friend, but I think Sam's the winner. Yeah, maybe we should have saved that for the last one. That's like the the most, this is like the most on brand for them. Anyway, all right. The next one we have, this is one of the more random ones. We have the best artist. Who is who is the, the Van Gogh of, of the two? You know, I wasn't sure until I just remembered that Sam is a gardener. Sam is a gardener. And gardening is a form of art. If you have really seen a perfect garden put together, it is a form of art. But, I mean, do do we know that Sam's a good gardener? Or is he just a gardener? Well, I mean, he is the official gardener for the whole um, Baggins estate, which is a very wealthy estate in the Shire. That's fair. The Baggins is a pretty bougie. Well, I mean, he's technically not the head gardener, but he's one of the gardeners. He's, 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 on, the, he's on the staff. Only the best for the Bagginses. I mean, what kind of artistic talent does Ron have? Um... Besides trying to turn his rat yellow. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is Ron isn't great at anything. Except he's a good friend. We established that. He's a great friend. And he's really good at eating. Um, he is very brave. Oh, I, I vote Sam for best artist. What do you think? Ron's just got nothing going in the artist category. Just nothing. Uh, sorry, Ron. Sam, Sam keeps racking up the points here's another interesting one the fastest reader okay my first point here is uh can sam read that's what i was just thinking (laughs) my first thing was like i think ron is like maybe dyslexic he's he's not great at reading or homework or stuff like that but i'm not even sure if sam can read i i legitimately have no clue if sam can read um so i think that ron might be winning this one by default According to my sources, Sam learned 
how to read from Bilbo, and he can even read uh, some Elvish, so he can read. Okay. He can read, but I don't... He definitely does a lot less reading than yeah. Ron does. Yeah. I, I think that I would give this one to Ron. Okay. I'll, I'll give Fastest Reader to Ron. What's our score so far? Okay, so, so far we have Sam with five and Ron with three. All right, so Ron has to sweep the next two categories for it to be a tie. Yes. And uh, <laughs> he has a shot. The next category is the fastest runner. Oh, fastest runner. <laughs> um, I'm going to go Ron it's, on this one. Ron's legs are about the length of Sam. So... I mean, if we're talking um, definitively, yeah. If we're talking, like, ratio... Ron's probably still more athletic than Sam. Yeah, I mean, he true, true. He's very athletic. He is on the Quidditch team. Yeah. That is one thing that, that Ron has that is actually good. Like, he's pretty athletic. I'll go Ron for fastest runner. I agree. Here we go. Final category. Our final category is best in hand-to-hand combat. This was the only combat form that we felt was even kind of fair because if it was like a magic battle ron would obviously win and if it was like a sword fight sam has an advantage there so we're just gonna we're breaking out the the fisticuffs and uh that still feels a little weighted in ron's favor well i mean sam might be small but man if you get a punch in the right spot as a small guy you can cause a lot of damage yeah, but, like, Ron could just really do some... He's so much bigger than him. Like, Ron is tall for a human. True, Ron is tall. So... So you're saying Ron will win based on size. Well, we already... We just established that Ron's more athletic. True. So his punch is probably better. Plus, he had to fight all his brothers all the time. That's true. Can you imagine trying to dodge noogies from Fred and George? Yeah. Ron has to have some uh, some skills there. I think that that Ron is just gonna beat Sam in pretty much any physical category. All right, we'll give hand to hand combat to Ron, but that leaves us in a dilemma. We are tied five to five for Sam versus Ron. So for our tiebreaker question, which is our official tiebreaker question for every single episode, which one would most likely be portrayed by Nicolas Cage in a movie adaptation? Now, I think that Ron has a little bit of a disadvantage here because of Ron's age. Well, I mean, it could be old Ron or young Nick Cage, you know. Um, also, Nick Cage is not British. Um, and his British accents, I don't think very good. I don't think that well, Nicolas Cage is a particularly good. They're both British. Oh, that's true. Sam's British too. Well, you know, there's no real British in Middle Earth, so that's fine. It's hard to picture it tiny Nicholas cage <laughs> it's really funny it's tiny <laughs> Nicholas cage like who would like realistically Nicholas cage would never get cast as Plus. samwise gamgee or ron well like young Nicholas cage like he wouldn't have been cast as ron but he would have thought about auditioning i don't think that he would have even thought about auditioning to be samwise gamgee you don't think nick cage can be serious enough to be sam sam's a pretty serious character he doesn't joke a lot. Yeah, and Ron's like... Ron's kind of awkward and dumb. Yeah. I think Nicolas Cage would be actually pretty good at portraying Ron. All right. I think most likely to be played by Nicolas Cage goes to Ron, which means Ron wins our character clash today. Oh, wow. A big upset here. Sam had the lead early on, but Ron really made a comeback at the end there. Good old Runo Waslip. <laughs> good to see you, Wallenby. <laughs> And that's it for Character Clash. Thanks for joining us today. If you like to give a like, if you want to see more, subscribe and look out for more. Yeah, don't forget to buy our merch and have a nice day.